I would like to invite now Shri P S Anandar Rao. He is Executive Director ASRTU to give the lead talk. Shri Anandar Rao is an Executive Director Association of State Road Transport Undertaking. ASRTU is an apex coordinating body working under the aegis of Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Government of India. ASRTU has 62 members, collectively operates 150,000 buses, and serves 70 million passengers a day. and provide efficient economic safe and reliable public transport facility in urban hilly and rural areas across the country shri anand rao i would like i would also like to invite on stage mr sushil kumar he is deputy director general telecommunication engineering center to please come on stage I would also like to invite Mr. Alok Sethi. He is Deputy General Manager, DIMS, Government of India, to please come on stage, Mr. Alok. I would now request Sri P S Anandar Rao to give the lead talk. a very good afternoon to friends and uh, i think the experts from the industry this is an industry which is very close to not only to logistics i think they were more related to logistics all these days we were talking to them and i have been very actively involved with the telematics and this organization which is organizing the programs everywhere now i think they, there was a brief introduction of what is public transport in india Uh, in fact uh, to bring to our kind no knowledge uh, we have friends from dims and most uh, some of them are from the public road transport and the private sector also uh, we have been debating of public transport the congestion on roads the pollution the ngt lot of effects especially in delhi now when we talk of this problem i think uh, yesterday we were a part of this uh, world research institute where were where we were debating what is sustainable transport in fact i am little bit drifting from the subject of telematics but i'll come to it in a short while from now we were talking of what is public transport how public transport transport can be made available with the last mile connectivity here comes the role of telematics so most of, i think the minister uh, the deputy chief minister of delhi yesterday was talking about dtc they had promised 10000 buses on the roads of delhi which could not be done he was mentioning i think you have all read the papers uh, the uh, the headlines of the newspapers today he has mentioned that these big buses cannot run on the uh, roads of delhi of course it's a fact but how do we decongest these roads we had a recent conference where itdp made a presentation we are in a very bad state we talk of public transport we try to pop promote public transport we talk of pollution we talk of congested roads but very little is done when it comes to public transport in fact it is disheartening to note that there it uh, there has been a drastic reduction we have a very senior officer from dtc i hope he will also agree with us the number of buses uh, on public transport though dims has been uh, supplementing it has gone down on the roads of delhi so that means we are promoting private transport in a very big way of course for the sake of convenience and affordability so having said this uh now we come to the subject of telematics in fact uh, i have been introduced that uh, we own about 100 150000 that is 1.5 lakh buses under our umbrella all over the country and this is almost 1/10 or 10% of the total fleet because in india we talk of 1.8 million buses that's almost 18 lakh buses on road out of which about 16.5 lakhs constitute from the private sector alone so having said this the next point is what where we are when we talk of internationally where we are on the number of buses per 1000 population we were just comparing a population of 1.2 billion and we are talking of 1.8 million vehicles on road for the public transport or the shared transport so we are hardly we talk of 1.2 to 1.5 buses per 1000 population this is very low 
very, very low compared to some of the countries that are in our own neighboring, uh, neighboring countries which are in the southeastern uh, uh, Asian region. So now what, what, is the, what is the next effort? How do we really complement this? How do we really supplement the requirement of these huge numbers? In fact, we were talking, we were debating yesterday, we need about uh, 300,000 buses on urban, we need another 600,000 on the intercity and some more on the village and rural areas. So in all, it comes to about 1.5 million buses immediately. So this is a requirement and how do we do it today? So when it comes to telematics with this brief introduction, I would like to just uh, highlight and, uh, you know, uh, sort of a brainstorming on how telematics can really come into our operation. We consume about 3 billion liters of fuel. I have seen some stalls which were also ma uh, making a presentation and showcasing how inventory management, how fuel sensors can really work on fuel management, on vehicle maintenance management. So all these are very important areas when it comes to public transport apart from logistics. In fact, today the road transport bill is being passed. The parliament is in full swing now today. I think all of us will be affected by this bill in a good way, rather, if not in a bad way, because the road safety is of a lot of importance. A lot of road safety activities have been built into this bill. The most important that was debated and presented in the parliament this afternoon was on the Vahan and Sarathi. There will be a very big registry of the number of vehicles in the country, not only in the states and the RTOs, there will be a very big detailed uh, uh, agenda and the data on the vehicles that is on the Wahan data. This is on the NIC website. We have the Sarathi, we will have the details of all the drivers and their record of accidents and incidents that they have done. In fact, the Honorable Minister has been talking of this very seriously in different forum. We had a couple of meetings with the state transport ministers and it has come to a stage where the cabinet subcommittee has agreed in principle to all these amendments and it is put in place today and it will be approved by this evening. So with the transport bill in place, I think a uh, lot of uh, good improvements will happen on Indian roads. We'll have some sort of a discipline. We'll have better roads. We'll have better traffic, better regulation. And uh, ultimately what we expect from this is that the road safety and the road accidents will reduce. As we all know, that uh, the road accidents were very huge. Every four minutes, a person is dying, and this is a very serious issue. And uh, the UN Decade of Action on Road Safety has also called for a reduction in the 50% in accident rate, especially for India, and India has committed to that. So having said that, uh, we come to the telematics part of this uh, road sector. Uh, it has been well presented in the telematics conference, earlier also have been part of it, the fuel management. We consume huge quantities of fuel and especially when we talk of our organization, I consume under our SQs about 3.5 billion liters of fuel. Just imagine even 0.5% on the accounting and inventory management of this fuel will mean a lot of money, not only on saving but also on wastage. I think this would be a very important part when we talk of telematics. The other one is the maintenance management. In fact, uh, we always talk that uh, the public transport, when it comes to it, the maintenance is very bad. There has been breakdowns, there has been accidents. But today with the te technology available with the BS4 and the ECU in place with all BS4 vehicles, I think we can have a very good preventive maintenance management in place and telematics will add value to this. The next issue is on the speed, safety and location of these vehicles. In fact, we talk of the driver behavior. A lot of accidents have been happening on highways, and especially in the early morning uh, time when the drivers just uh, lose control and get into sleep. So this is a very important area where even the road safety bill has been addressing this also. So speed, safety, and location is very important, which has been addressed in our uh, bill also. Uh, they, there we are trying to bring in the telematics part of it. We are trying to address this through the ITS, the ITOMS. In fact, two of the STUs, one is in Karnataka and Bangalore, BMTC and Karnataka State Road Transport has introduced ITOMS on 8,000 buses on the entire fleet of its buses. Similarly, UPSRTC has also introduced ITOMS in a very big way. 
I think uh, with this uh, introduction, uh, we would like to go deep into this. Uh, we want to have the, in fact, public transport, we say, when it comes to Delhi, I think DIMS was supposed to add 10,000 buses. I think there was a commitment both from DTC, from Delhi government, and DIMS. Similarly, in Bangalore, in BMTC, we are supposed to add 10,000 buses. Now, what is the scientific analysis of the requirement of buses that we need? Do we really need 10,000 buses? What is the demand assessment? Here comes the technology. So we have brought in something called as the uh, 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 assessment of demand management uh, for these uh, buses on the productivity of buses and the passenger carrying capacity of buses, where we have brought about two companies. One is Giro and the other one is the Lumi Plan, where they also monitor and uh, see the effect of passenger movement the number of buses that are required, the timings that they can operate, when the demand is there, when there is an off-peak demand, and depending on that, the buses will be in place. So this is very important when we talk of uh, ITS. Then comes the freight and logistics, which is a part of your subject. In fact, public transport has large amount of spare capacity when it comes to freight and logistics. It can, in fact, some of the SUs like APSRTC, Karnataka SRTC have been moving some sort of freight also as a part of its uh, public transport initiative also. So this is one spare capacity where telematics can add to the value in terms of revenue when it comes to the uh, uh, public bus transport. The productivity of bus transport on the passengers carried, so we say, 1.5 buses, uh, uh, 1.5 per thousand population is very meager amount and we have to move to 2 per thousand population. If we have to move to 2 per two buses per thousand population, how do we really replace it? We have different systems. We have the hiring model, we have the leasing model, we have the operator model where we are trying to bring these buses to the fore of the public transport on PPP models also. In fact, uh, we have also brought the ERP on the enterprise resource planning of buses. This is where the IT will help in a very big way on the number of buses that are required and how does it cater to the need of the public transport and movement of passengers. The next issue is on the telematics is the surveillance and security of passengers. This is a very important subject. In fact, the AIS 140, which has been mentioned is a part of this conference also is in place. We are going to have this as effective from 1st April 2018, where all <coughs> public transport vehicles will be enabled with uh, the surveillance system, the security system, and the ITS system as a part of their uh, ITS for the public transport system from 1st April 2018 onwards. It's called the AIS 140. We are building the specifications also for this system, and this will be in place and especially this is in relation to the women's safety that has been experienced in Delhi recently. We will have the panic button, we will have the, uh, the camera on the buses to monitor the incidences that are happening within the bus and outside the bus as a part of a public safety at large. So with these uh, important subjects that I had uh, just uh, jotted down for uh, the benefit of the audience and the experts on uh, telematics, I would like to invite some uh, suggestions on how uh, the vehicle tracking and monitoring systems can be implemented in this STU. Till now we have a standalone system where STUs are having their own uh, systems of uh, vehicle tracking and monitoring system. We would like to have a centralized uh, VTMS for the STUs, which will be a plug-and-play model for all the 1,50,000 buses. We will have the online ticketing for the buses, which has already been introduced. We will have the app system, which will, which is already in place with the STUs. It's called the IndusBus.com. Earlier, it was called as the BusIndia.com. Then we have the integrated transport operation system and maintenance management. Then we have the integrated transport enterprise planning and management. So this will be a part, four parts of the important uh, uh, system of telematics that's going to be implemented in the public transport at large. So I'll be more than happy to have your suggestions on how we can really go about on this adoption of telematics and IT in the public transport domain of the 
uh, public transport system in India. Thank you.